Yeah. Uh, so, so you're here. It's the Christmas season. It is. Merry Christmas, everyone. Uh, by the way, if uh, you want to can see Zach's movie, uh, Christmas Story. Christmas. Christmas, a Christmas Story Christmas. Christmas. I was going to say two, but they did no, it too. No, no, no. They did a Christmas Story too. It was not canonical. As I believe mm. it's called, uh, it, it's no in offense. the Star Wars universe. Is what it is, dude. Unfortunately, <laughs> that's how far that's out. So and it was Legos. It was, <laughs> <laughs> and that one would have been sadly. It was uh, one of the guys was from uh, um, Home Alone. One of the wet bandits from Home Alone is in it. The, oh. um, the tall guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah, Pesci. Yeah. Sorry, uh, Daniel Stern. Daniel. Hey, hey, there you go. And yeah. I, I never saw the movie. Got horrible reviews, and I felt so sorry for those actors because it wasn't that good. But. Um, so this is a Christmas story Christmas, the one I'm in with Peter Billingsley, Scotty Schwartz, R.D. Robb, Yano Anaya, Ian Petrella, all the original uh, cast. What did I watch it on? H was it HBO? HBO Max. Oh, HBO Max. HBO, okay. People, you got to watch this movie. It's so good. And they did. They hit every beat exactly yeah. right. There's a scene. You guys remember Zach played Scott, uh, Scott Farkas in the, in the original movie. And dude, you're like everybody's nightmare bully. Yeah. You're like worldwide. Yeah. That fucking character when he was, how old are you when you're 12, 14? 13 yeah 13 fucking crushed it bro Dude, Thank you. 13 <laughs> damn just, just the eyes and <laughs> like the fucking laugh, fucking laugh you're like, <laughs> um, um but you I, I don't want to give it away but there's a scene uh when you yeah as you're an, as an adult which is just so fun it was so good i actually called you i picked up the phone and i, I hate giving you compliments because we've yeah. known each other way too long and uh and it was so so fucking good you're such a good actor thanks man it, it was it, it's they did such a great job with the film and i you know, I, I've been doing a lot of interviews about this thing, and people have asked me why the original Christmas story lasted. It's 40 years now, dude. 40 years next year. And you think about this. Every other Christmas movie, Santa Claus flies on his magical sleigh with eight mm -hmm. freaking reindeer mm -hmm. from the North Pole, mm -hmm. lots of elves and a magical bag. A lot of magical magic. Yeah. 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 There is magic, and it's in the little boy's imagination, and the mm -hmm. family is going through a crappy time in the 40s. Mm -hmm. They don't have any food, so they're eating red cabbage over and over again. They can't afford tires in the fucking car. Yep. They have to haggle over a Christmas tree. Shit goes wrong. The furnace doesn't work. Everything goes wrong, and it works beautifully because the reality of Christmas is the people that you love that you're with, that's the magic of Christmas. And that was the thing that worked so well in the first one and then in the sequel, and you, I don't want to give away any spoilers because I think what they really do beautifully is capture the essence, whether it's Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever you celebrate, where there's a timestamp in your life that everybody comes together. And it was really beautifully done. And yeah, I thought yeah. Peter Billings, like, dude, yeah. Yeah. Peter Billings, like, there's moments like I'll be who honest, hasn't acted in a, in a while. He's in a been long producing time, stuff, dude. and he yeah. did a great job. He did a great. And there's these moments, and you'll you'll know what I mean. Is like you get into it, and you're like, okay, nice light holiday fair. And then you're like, oh, and it grabs you a little bit. And then he's talking to Julie Haggerty at the house. And yep. you go. Near the end. No, in the beginning. Oh, I thought at, well, at the end. When, oh, oh, of course. Yeah. Of course there. But I mean, there's moments of genuine honesty. It's not like, okay, mom, let's have a great Christmas, everyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's not that silly schmarmy crap. And the yeah. thing I really love about it is the husband, the father is not a buffoon. He's doing the best he can, mm -hmm. but he's respected by his wife and his kids. He treats them with respect. There is a sense of like, people can treat each other well. People can mm -hmm. love each other. People mm -hmm. can screw up and not be like, oh, dad, dad doesn't know. He's an idiot and because fact, penises. And you're the, like, stop. Yeah. The only time in the first one where they where the, where the dad was silly was the leg lamp. Yeah. That, 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 and that was because he was so fucking Yeah, because he was so yeah, excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The leg lamp was uh, is, is so much in uh, that movie. Fra Sh fragile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but, I mean, that's yeah. genius. Maybe the bowling ball, but that's, that's you know, we all go through one. that. The bowling ball is cute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But his, yeah, the, he has so many moments where he's like, and he ad-libbed all all that swearing. What? No but, shit. Yeah, all, the, all that swearing hmm. that was non-swearing yeah, yeah. so that they could keep a PG rating. <laughs> That's great. <laughs>